What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. Yesterday I uploaded a video discussing the actual announcement of Shanks and Mihawk dual units. So if you guys haven't seen that video, me talking about the banner and just the, the just the pure you know, confusing situation that we were in, you know, make sure you go check out that video because it was very, very weird logging in and seeing this banner arrive considering this is never before seen character that like we didn't even vote for as a community. They just basically just dropped it on us last second this character will be arriving tomorrow as of me uploading this video and it's going to be pretty exciting tomorrow we have a bunch of stuff dropping at the exact same time so i've time traveled right now after a download that just happened we can see that tomorrow at news o'clock we are getting the showdown shanks and mihawk this will be arriving and we'll be discussing what these characters do because now we have access to them we can actually see what they do this will be dropping tomorrow also, what's dropping tomorrow, we are getting the Wedding Sanji, and also, we are getting the Wedding Pudding, which also did announce, uh, get announced yesterday, which again, was pretty exciting, because we have been expecting these characters for a while now. They are going to be arriving. Both of these characters are going to be trusty characters in the next treasure map, along with the uh, the Shanks and Mihawk. They're going to be trusty characters. Also, tomorrow, what drops is the brand new Colosseum Kuma. Literally, all of this stuff is dropping on the same day. We're getting two Fortnite dungeons, a Colosseum, and a new raid boss dropping on the same day. Now, luckily, obviously, we've got the whole month to farm for Colosseum Kuma. For the Wedding Sanji and Pudding, uh, we have them out for 18 days each. And then for the Shanks and Mihawk thing, we only have them out for 5 to 6 days. So I would suggest farming this up first, making it your top priority, and then working your way down to characters that, you know, you'll be able to farm up a little bit easier easier and you know don't have as much time remaining so all these dungeons are going to be arriving on the same day and also what is starting tomorrow is the brand new sugo fest with white bit and marco so we have so many different things arriving on the same day i just really wish they could have spread it out evenly across the month of january considering the situation that we've been in you guys already know i've discussed it length in length you know in previous videos having so much stuff drop on one day is ridiculous honestly but it is good that we have content to farm for now. So in this video, we're going to be discussing the new character, Shanks and Mihawk. But before we do that, I actually want to discuss uh, the new Fortnite characters. Because um, some people, you know, are wondering what they actually do. I don't think we can actually check the exact stats of, uh, of the Colosseum Kuma yet. But just know, he will be good. And I'll be going through what he actually does on his Colosseum video when that gets dropped and all that. So tomorrow, I've got lots of stuff to work on with uh, all the new stuff dropping. Let's talk about Sanji first, okay? So Sanji is pretty decent unit uh so he obviously the captain effect doesn't really matter that much we're just going to be discussing the special effect so on a 21 turn cooldown i'm unsure as to what his max cooldown is but i know it's a relatively reasonable cooldown changes recovery tandem and bomb into character's own type also reduces special charge time by one turn for fighter and powerhouse characters which is pretty nice and also delay all enemies for one turn so that's pretty decent getting some pretty decent ore manipulation reducing charge time for fighter and powerhouse is pretty good you can definitely utilize a character like this on like uh, legend hody teams to get even less cooldown to enable you to speed farm even better and also delaying for one turn is just kind of all right not too bad he gets a crewmate effect of reducing his own special reverse by three turns this is what makes this type of character so good is the fact that he has that meaning anytime he gets rewinded he rewinds forward again by three turns very good special effect from his sailor and then you can go ahead and use his special to reduce everyone else's cooldown so if your whole crew gets special rewinded his special is going to be great because then you can use it to rewind and obviously with legend hody because his uh, special ability is multi-staged you can also use that to reduce your crew's cooldown once again so uh, hody teams are just amazing for getting around rewind mechanics just in general so sanji i would definitely recommend farming him up you know whenever you're in a situation where you need to go ahead and rewind your specials whenever that ever happens so he's going to be good for that and uh yeah so he's great now, the next character that we're going to be talking about is going to be Pudding, of course. So, Pudding, if we go to the tips menu, this character is freaking amazing. Holy crap, this character is so good. So, Pudding here, Fighter Cerebral Int character. Uh, obviously, this is her unevolved form. You can fully evolve her. She'll get better stats and stuff like that. Uh, but her special ability, 21 turns. I don't remember what it maxes out at, but it's a reasonably low cooldown. Obviously, Sanji and Pudding will max out at the same turns. She changes G and block and unfavorable or, or non-matching slots into character's own type reduces bind and special bind duration by three turns and locks the chain multiplier at 2.5 times for one turn 
This character is freaking amazing. Holy crap. With a crewmate ability of reducing special bind on herself for three turns. So the fact that she reduces special bind and has a sailor that negates special bind on herself is going to be a very valuable asset for building teams. The fact that she also changes G orbs is pretty cool. You can partner this up with Treasure Map Big Mom, giving you a full board of G orbs. Then use this special ability, give you a full board of matching orbs, reduces bind and special bind, as well as a 2.5 chain lock as well. This character is a must farm character and she's usable on a lot of different teams so yeah she's one of the better free to play characters to farm for in the entire game she's so goddamn good uh, i'm really happy that this character's finally arriving on global but now that we've discussed these characters in a little bit uh let's get to the main part of this video which is going to be discussing on uh, these new characters here showdown shanks and miho now I've been expecting, you know, these characters to be on the same caliber as, you know, Garp and Sengoku that we got last month. They are interesting, but I don't think they're as good as, uh, as Garp and Sengoku in my personal opinion. So let's go ahead and check this out right now. This is the unevolved version of the character. When he fully evolves, um, the dual character captain effect stays the same. I thought it might have been upgraded. Just looking at what it did, I felt like it should have been upgraded. But unfortunately, that's not the case. So this character... He does get an upgraded captain effect for the dual shanks and the, and the and the Mihawk captain effects. They will change, but the dual combined captain effect does not change. So let's discuss each of them as separate, and then we'll discuss them together. So with the regular shanks, shanks is the character that will arrive first as soon as you start the dungeon. Shanks is a slasher free spirit quick character, and his captain effect is going to be a 2.25 times attack boost to slashes, and I believe it's a 20% damage reduction as well. So that's going to be his evolved um, captain effect. Obviously, this one right here is his unevolved version. This gets buffed upon evolving. So it's going to be a 2.25 slasher boost with 20% damage reduction, which is pretty mediocre if you ask me. I don't think it's anything too crazy, um, but it is cool that this character is actually arriving to global. I am excited to get my hands on this character and play around with him but yeah the captain effect for shanks not very usable in my personal opinion uh moving on to mihawk though mihawk is an int cerebral slasher which is pretty interesting seeing a cerebral version of mihawk i actually do really really like that so Mihawk's captain effect is going to be a 2.5 times slasher boost. Now, obviously this is 2.25 here, but when he evolves, it becomes a 2.5 slasher boosting captain and makes tandem and recovery have matching slot effects. That's actually a pretty good captain effect. It's literally just a buffed version of Raid Mihawk. Like just, just it is. It's just a buffed version of Raid Mihawk, which is pretty decent. That can be somewhat used as just your regular captain effect to get through content. Um, but let's talk about the switching effect. Now, in my opinion, this switch effect is a little underwhelming considering what we got with Garp and Sengoku. Uh, that character had such an amazing switch effect. This character boosts the chances of landing on a quick int or recovery slot for one turn and then changes your slots randomly unless they're matching. I don't see too many instances where this specific switch effect is going to be that useful. There's going to be a lot of instances where, you know, you don't have a matching orb and, you know, you, let's say you have a strength slasher on your team and then you just get a quick orb on him, you know. I don't see a point to having a, cap a switch effect like this. I just don't see it, why it's so useful. What would have been a little bit more useful is if he boosts the chances of landing on recovery and tandem slots, that would have been a little bit better because they're going to be counted as beneficial when Mihawk is your captain. I feel like that would have worked out a bit better. And also, you know, if you get some recovery orbs, it allows you to heal a little bit more as well. But now let's discuss what happens when you combine these characters together. So the combined captain effect boosts slasher characters attack by three times and reduces damage taken by 20%. And he also makes slasher characters tandem and recovery slots count as beneficial. That is a pretty good captain effect. I do feel like it is a little bit of... Uh, of a low multiplier. I would have preferred it to be at least 3.25. Considering what we got with Garp and Sengoku, this character should have been, you know, at least a 3.25 times captain effect in my personal opinion. But when you look at it, a 20% damage reduction is actually pretty decent. And if you are going to be running double this character, uh, you know, that damage reduction is pretty significant. Uh, making tandem and recovery beneficial, very big fan of that. I am just not a fan of the of the overall multiplier. I feel like it definitely should have been higher um, just compared to what we've got previously. Uh, before we end the video, the special effect. So the special ability maxes at 13 turns. 
but that's with his limit break. So I'm not too sure if he gets one or two turns of reduction. Most likely he maxes at 15 turns and then he gets two cooldown with his limit break. Most likely is what's going to happen. So uh, his special effect reduces bind, special bind and attack down duration by two turns. Very big fan of that. And it says becomes Shanks and Mihawk for two turns. That's also where I don't like this unit as much is the fact that their combination into the dual unit only lasts two turns, which means that if you use this on a stage four fight and you try and move on to a stage five, if the enemy has a preemptive, you just lose your dual captain effect. So the fact that you can't use this on a, on a last stage, on the second last stage and carry it over into the other room is a pretty big drawback to the character. Only a two turn um, double character, which is a little unfortunate, but they have an added effect stating that if your HP is below 50%, when you use the special ability, he delays them by two turns and gives you a 1.75 times conditional boost against delayed enemies for two turns. And that's actually not too bad as well. I feel like the condition is a little bit annoying. I feel like it should have been 50% or higher. Um, considering that they have the ability to reduce damage taken, I feel like it would have made a lot more sense uh, to have it, you know, be 50% or higher, especially, you know, when you use their switch effect, you have a chance to get more recovery orbs as well. So it makes a lot of sense that they're definitely trying to like tank damage and heal. That's what it seems like this character is trying to do, but it only works with the uh, conditional boost if you're below 50%. So I'm a bit confused as to what they were going for when they were designing this character. I'm not the greatest fan of this character, but uh, I am excited to, you know, get my hands on him and still try and use him in certain pieces of content. But I feel like this isn't exactly what Slash has needed. Slash has needed a much better a captain and they still don't have that yet um they didn't really need conditional boosters i mean they've already got a good delay conditional booster in little laws jr who also reduces paralysis and other stuff this character reduces bind special bind and attack down by two turns which is actually pretty good that's really nice utility that they have but it's not really enough in my personal opinion uh considering you know the whole kit in general just looking at it i just feel like it should have been a lot more than what it should have been but overall, that's actually the full breakdown of the brand new character. So let me know your thoughts and opinions on the Shanks and Mihawk character down below in the comments. And let me know if you guys are a big fan of this character. I'll definitely be maxing him out 100%. This character is confirmed to be a trusty character in the next treasure map. So he's going to be very good for that. Um, also, something to note as well is that this character is a quick and an int character. And looking at it on paper, he actually works very, very well with Legend Shiki, which should be arriving for the treasure map against NL. I saw a couple of people mention that, that yeah, this character works perfectly with Legend Shiki. And that, that actually does make a lot of sense. He's a slasher, the same as Legend Shiki as well. So I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see how everything goes. But yeah, I'm just, I feel like a little bit, that's a little bit disappointing for this character in general. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on the character down below. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But on that, guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.